So let me get this straight. You gonna remake a whole Final Fantasy 7 franchise? Yes. And by remake you mean the second one after we just did it last year? That's right. Okay, let's see if I actually get this. We will remake the game that was already remade. But this time, it's more of a remake than the last remake cause this remake gonna be more faithful than previous remake. Yeah, you got it. You know what I still don't get it. Can you to remake the explanation? Okay sure. So a while back you said we gonna make DLC for Final Fantasy 7 Remake and 2 mobile games that reuse the shit ton of 7 Remake assets right? Yeah, I said that. And you want two of us to handle DLC and one of the mobile title while you do the other one. So we come up with this game called Final Fantasy 7 Ever Crisis. Oh we see. I see what you did there. This game will go back to the classic ATB system similar to original FF7. With a little spin to it of course. This way fans who prefer the original gameplay can enjoy it. And you know, widen our recent game genre a little bit. Still feels like we has been thrown all of our classic fans into mobile and different IP but though. But it's not just gameplay. The story gonna be a recreation of original FF7 as well as Advent Children, Before Crisis, Crisis Core, and last but not least, Dirge of Cerberus. Are we seriously going to acknowledge Dirge of Cerberus in any capacity whatsoever? We already did a whole chapter in 7 remakes acknowledging it remember? God damn it you're right, although. Are we really gonna remake a movie and a third person shooter into turn based RPG? Yeah, I mean it's not like we have been good at making a shooter anyway. Um. Anyway, what about reusing assets? We can do that with FF7, but what about the other four parts? Oh we gonna create a new asset that we will use in 7 Remake later. Wait, you gonna use spin-off game assets in the remake? Yeah. So? What? Are you two plotting? Something. Okay I believe you. So how are you going to do a gacha system? What are you talking about? This is not a gotcha game. Nani? It's gonna be an episodic game with each chapter sold separately. But it's a mobile game. How could it not be gacha? Not everything on mobile has to be gotcha Mr. Square Enix. Namura-san, aren't your Kingdom Hearts Union Cross gonna rend its update soon? Please we need another money printer. Nah. I mean it was fun making fans do a boring grind for the lore. But I don't want to do it for a while. Well okay. Like I give a shit. Then. I'm gonna put microtransaction in somehow. Sure whatever. You are the boss. Still. No gacha aside. I'm really impressed with what you to come up with. This definitely gonna sell a lot. But now it's time for my idea. Oh boy. I don't have much expectation honestly. Yeah, it will probably be whatever trend is popular right now. Now then, witness. The ultimate Final Fantasy 7 experience. Wow. No way, I was kidding about the ultimate part. Are you actually surprised? By how basic you are yes. I don't need to see anything else aside from that image aren't I? Yeah pretty much. Although there are some melee combo and summon spin to it. And by spin you mean reusing assets in the most obvious way possible. Hey. At least it's better than Dirge of Cerberus. Debatable. Stop criticizing. Look. It's either this. Or Cloud will be in Fortnite. Damn it no. Not again. I take it back this is better than Dirge of Cerberus. That's what I thought. Also I'm still waiting for your approval for Sora to be in Fortnite Namura-san. Disney already said okay. Um. Ah. Give me some time. Well make it quick. Man. Just imagine. Sora from Kingdom Hearts fighting Thanos with a sniper rifle. Or Cloud doing a Fortnite default dance. That's totally a dream come true for so many fans isn't it? Are you even listening? Oh yeah sure. I'm listening. Alright. Now that mobile games are out of the way. How is the PS5 exclusive FF7 remake DLC doing? It's going well. Wait I didn't know it's a PS5 exclusive. Yeah, so? How much did Sony pay you for this? As much as the number of people who couldn't get PS5. Of course, anyway I will send you a trailer. You can watch it yourself. Oh cool. Let's see here. Oh so it's a UFI DLC. That's great. Who is this Zack and Sid's fusion looking dude? Wait, those guys look familiar. Where did I see that costume before? Let the hunt begin! Wait a minute. It's all Dirge of Cerberus? Always has been.
that's for not saving the battle royal concept for dirge of cerberus remake